Welcome back guys, Max here. And I'll be very honest with you guys, I was not going to upload a video today. And the reason for that is because I just didn't have any tangible content that I wanted to put on the channel. And I'm going to stay this right from the get-go, right from now, while this is really, you know, it, the channel is in, in its baby form. Um, and I really do hope it gets big. But in its baby form right as it stands right now, I'm not going to put content on the channel if there is no content to be had. I'm not I'm not just gonna post content and go, yeah, 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 I've got I've got another six thousand views off of that. I'm not doing it. You guys are super loyal and uh, you post some smashing comments and I'm not about to put content on the channel that's just literally is purely there to grab views for the sake of grabbing views. I'm I'm just not gonna do it. And then of course that leads you to the question and you guys are all like, well you are making a video and we're listening to you babble right now, so get to the point. So here's the point. I was sitting on a Kazi earlier, taking a Brad Pitt, and I was watching a very well-known YouTuber out there who posted a video, and I start strolling through, you know, strolling through his comments, and in the comments section, there's a whole bunch of questions that pertain to consoles and a whole bunch of other stuff, and they're never answered. I don't understand why these bigger YouTube channels, they produce all of this content, they've created these huge subscriber bases, and yet... They never, ever, ever respond to anybody in the comments section, or very, very rarely do they do that. And I understand that if you've got, you know, 400,000 subs or you've got a million subscribers, it's very, very difficult to try and respond to everybody. But you could, you could make a little bit more effort and respond to a handful of, you know, uh, even a handful of people. Do you know what I mean? Just to let them know that you are watching and you are, you are viewing and you value what they've got to say. I, I try and respond to everybody right now, but the channel's, you know, the channel's pretty small. But I'm not going to lie to you. My uh, my email notifications on my phone, which is turned on currently, um, lights up like a Christmas tree when all you guys comment. That's how I know when you've uh, when you've sent me a message. And for the foreseeable future, I won't be turning it off because I like to respond and I like to engage with you guys. If you you know you take the time and the trouble, I've said this before. You take the time and the trouble to subscribe, and you take the time and the trouble to comment. I'm going to take the time and trouble out of my day, even when I am sitting on the carsy. I am going to take the time and trouble to respond to you guys. So anyway, I'm scrolling through this fella's comment section on a very well-known YouTube channel. Scrolling through his comment section and uh, the PTFO skins, or the PTFO skin that was originally available for the MP18, they're now doing it for all the base weapons, just so that we're all clear what we're talking about. They're putting the PTFO skin onto the Lewis gun, they're putting it on the C Rigotti, and they're putting it on the SMLE um base model i guess whatever you want to call it in the scout class totally off totally off tangent got myself completely confused there anyway they're putting the ptfo skin is now going to be available for all of those variants um don't ask me how you unlock it i have absolutely no idea and to be perfectly honest with you i have absolutely no interest on, on unlocking skins and medals and all that kind of stuff uh, dog tags i just i've got no interest in it whatsoever i really had a big interest in unlocking the weapon challenges i thought that was kind of cool and I think that's something they could certainly uh, uh, do in the future. But here's the questions that were asked down in the comments section. Bolt action mode on the General Liu. Now, it's not a question. It's more of a statement. But did you know, I didn't know, one of my subscribers posted this down in the comments section. I believe I responded. And thank you very much for posting this. There is, you can change the fire mode on the General Liu rifle. Now, it does not work for me in the current console CTE. I've tried it. It did not work. I believe there are people out there that says it has, or it may just be coming to the core game. But this will make this gun a two-shot kill, which will put it in line with the Gewehr 95, which is one of my personal favorites, if I'm using aim assist. And yes, I do. Um, if I'm using the aim assist function on the game and I'm using a, uh, an infantry-based gun like that, then the General Liu will become a two-shot kill with a bolt-action kind of function on it. And if it reloads anything like it does in its fully automatic mode, this thing could be an absolute powerhouse. So look out for that. If you didn't know that, that's actually a fact. It is coming to the core game. And thanks for sharing that. Whoever that was that posted it in the comments, thanks for that. I appreciate it, and I should have shared it sooner. Anyway, uh, this other guy goes on. He cracked a funny, and he said the sniper rifle with PTFO on it is an absolute joke. Laugh out loud. And that's obviously because snipers are notoriously not uh, not known for uh, playing the objective, although uh, I try to. And while we're on the subject of playing the objective, I shit you not, I saw at least 15, maybe 20 times the question posed, what does PTFO mean? Yeah, I know. Mind blown. Play the fucking objective. 
that's what it means. I'm going to state it one time. I don't like don't like cussing on the channel, but that's what it stands for, guys. Rewind it. You can hear me say it a thousand times over. But uh, that's what it that's what it stands for, and I can't believe that people don't understand what it means. But if you don't and you didn't, well, you know, not everybody knows everything. So there it is. That's what PTFO means. So I've answered that question as well. And the big question before I get done with this video, because like I say, I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. When do consoles get the map Albion in the CTE? That was a question posed. So my guess would be, and it's a big guess, guys, is that it seems to me that they've just updated since we've had the console CTE. They've updated it every single week. So my guess is next week we get the CTE and we, uh, sorry, we get the CTE. We get Albion in the CTE would be my guess. And I'm not going to lie to you. This map looks superb. I'm really looking forward to this one. Obviously, I snipe. I am a sniper. Um, and so I'm looking for big, expansive, large open maps. That would be it would suit my gameplay absolutely perfectly. I know there's guys out there that's going to be hating on that. But uh, that's the kind of gameplay that I like to play. And I think this map looks awesome. It's huge. It's vast. The way that you spawn in reminds me of... I can't even remember the map on Battlefield 4. But you start on the ship and then you have to spawn into landing craft and stuff. And it was really, really cool. And so... There we are. I'm gonna wrap. I'm gonna wrap this video up. I've babbled way long enough about absolutely nothing after I said I wouldn't make a video. But those are some of the questions that were posed in this other fella's video. I've now answered them on my channel. I, I'm actually going to continue to do this because it's kind of fun trolling other people's uh, channels when they're not answering the questions. Why don't you do that? It gives me content. Maybe I'll make a feature out of it on a Friday. We'll. Uh, uh, come up with a title for me in the comment section. I'm thinking about this on the fly because I don't script. So. Think about it on the fly. What would you like the series to be called on a Friday where I just go, I spend all day on a Friday trawling other people's comment sections and we'll have a whole video about it for shits and giggles just for just for fun. Leave it down below. Let me know what you think. Babbled more than enough. Going to wrap it up. See you guys tomorrow. Live stream, guys. 11 o'clock Central Standard Time in the United States. I live in St. Louis, Missouri. Slap bang in the middle of, of the United States. So add, subtract your time zones to that time. It will be 11 o'clock going live. Can't wait to see you guys. Can't wait to play with you. It's going to be an absolute ton of fun. Super excited for this. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. And do remember that the server is actually live as we speak right here, right now. Server number is 13579. It is in the description of yesterday's video. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you guys Saturday. Rabbited enough. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Ta-da.